Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis, and I'm Tavis. Okay, so I'm making this video. It may be very controversial because if you are like me, if you're spending lots of money on your records, of course you want them to be in the best condition possible so that they can play beautifully on your turntable. That means you have to clean them. So the question is, how do you clean your vinyl records? This was the entire reason why I started this channel, because I was looking online on ways to clean my records. I thought there may be a new way, and I came across this guy, and he was showing this way that I wasn't accustomed to, and I began to do what he showed me to do. And it made perfect sense. However, recently I was at a record store and I was talking to a gentleman who owned the record store. And it just so happened that a another man came in and he was the guy who cleans this record store owner's records. And he uses a machine that costs over $500. Now, listen, everybody, I'm not paying no $500 for no vinyl record cleaner. So I told him how I clean my records. I said, you know, I use water and alcohol. When I said that, he was like, oh, alcohol. Y'all, all my life, I've used alcohol. In many of the uh, record cleaners that I buy online, there's alcohol involved. He said, when you use alcohol, you can see that it's been cleaned by alcohol because there's like little specks on the records. And he was very scientific and I was not downgrading him or putting him down in no fashion. I was open to what he was saying. But I told him straight up, I said, I am not going to spend over $100 let alone $500 for a record cleaner to clean my records. There has to be a better way. So I've always used alcohol, water, and just a little dab of uh, dishwashing detergent. I put it in a spray bottle, I spray the records, and I clean them with a microfiber towel. You know, very simple. He said, oh no, oh no, don't do that. I said, what in the world is going on? Why are we so bougie with cleaning our records? So I went back online and I put in the question, how do you clean vinyl records? And something came up and it was use simple green people. I had never heard of this before. Now, it's been around for a long time. This stuff, when I looked online, it is absolutely amazing. And we're gonna talk about it, or I'm gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna show you how I turned this record from this to that. And it sounds perfect. And there seems to be no issues. And other people are coming on board with using this because it's very, very safe. So let's get into how to clean your records with Simple Green. The product Simple Green comes in two forms. It comes in a concentrated form and a ready to use form. For this cleaning of records, we're gonna use the concentrated form and we're gonna use the ratio one to 30. That means two cups of water and one ounce or two tablespoons of Simple Green. So as you see here, I have the concentrated Simple Green that I bought from Amazon. And also we have some distilled water. 
And I have a couple of bowls here, and each of these bowls uh, has a purpose. Uh, one is going to hold the water, and then the other is going to hold the solution or the um, the ratio of the simple green and the water. And we have our measuring spoons right there. And I also have some microfiber towels, which are very important. And I have uh, this great lint-free towel that I got from Amazon. I'll have those links below. And I have just a simple white T-shirt that's clean that I've, you know, ripped up and and I use it to clean my records so we're going to be cleaning the record from Steely Dan Asia from 1977 I recently got this at a garage sale and every time I see this record I just want to buy it because I think it just needs to have a home so I have my towel laid out and I'm gonna put my record on top of that towel now I'm gonna pour just some distilled water in one of my bowls and I'm going to take one of my microfiber towels and I'm going to just put it in there to damp it just a little bit and I'm going to kind of wring it out just a little bit then I'm going to start just wiping down any debris or grease or dust and fingerprints that may be on the record and just go over it um, and be sure to follow the grooves as much as you can and do this until you feel like the record is, is pretty much clean with the water alone. Now I'm going to make the solution, which includes um, the simple green and the distilled water. So I'm going to use two cups of distilled water. And this ratio doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I don't even fill the water up all the way to the top of uh, the measuring cup. But you can see that I'm using... Uh, about two cups of water, distilled water, that is. And then I'm going to use um, the concentrated simple green, and I'm just going to put about two tablespoons. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, just do the best you can. And after you do that, you're going to mix it up just a little bit, you know, so that everything is mixed in good. And I promise you, you all, when you use this and clean your records, they're going to sound good, they're going to look good, and you're going to be very surprised. I was completely surprised. And this particular method is mentioned in um, on the Billboard webpage, and it's also mentioned on the Simple Green website. So I'm going to dip one of my microfiber towels into the solution and kind of wring it out and just go round and round following the grooves on the record and try not to get any of the solution on the label but just go round and round and very gently you don't have to be really rough with it just go round and round and round and round and then you know you can go the other way and just take your time when you have one of those days off when you know there's nothing to do and maybe it's kind of a rainy day and you just want to do something, you want to clean some records, and this is just a great way to relax and, and to get everything off your mind. Cleaning records for me really calms me down. Okay, now I'm going to take um, the microfiber towel that I originally used for water. I'm going to put some more water on there and wring it out a little bit, and I'm going to wipe down that solution that I just put on. You don't want to leave any of that uh, simple green solution on there. So I'm just wiping it down again, following the grooves, and then I'm going to use either this lint-free towel or the, the cotton towel or the cotton rag that I've made from a t-shirt. I like to use this, the cotton uh, white t-shirt. To me, it just it cleans or it just dries it better. and when you do this, you can really tell that it's clean as you begin to keep drying off the water. It just seems to feel very smooth, and it's like you're buffing your car with wax or something, you know. And you just go round and round and be sure to get into the dead zone of the record and just really wipe it down, and you'll begin to feel that smoothness like, like, it, like you're waxing it. It feels really, really good. You can really tell that you're cleaning the record. And again, this is a very, 
very relaxing activity for me. I don't know how you feel about it, but cleaning records for me is very relaxing. And once that is really dry and you can really feel that it it feels buffed, just look at that. <laughs> that to me is a clean record that's ready to play. It's shining and it just looks great and it's going to sound great as well. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Let's get a, a closer look. Oh man. And it sounds so good, y'all. It took away a lot of the pops and the, the hisses and things. And wow, this is a great way to clean your records. I highly recommend using Simple Green with distilled water and use the ratio of 1 to 30. And you can also put it in a little spray bottle and, and use it for light cleaning. But this is what I would call the deep cleaning method. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye, everybody.